this is, we're starting to get into an issue where I kind of wonder if I've done the right thing. So we copied the C semantic so far that uh, pointer, you know, pointer differences are basically divided by the size of the thing, um, like in C. I'm not actually sure that's a good idea. Like I almost would just rather almost would just rather have it be the numbers. Yeah, relative pointers are still in here. Casey's union structs for things like V4 and V3 to give the members a different name. Yeah, we, we do that. Hmm. Well, I don't, I don't really want this to be the pointers intro. This is just the struct intro. It's just that you take pointers to things in structs a lot. I kind of, I kind of maybe just want pointer difference to be an integer. You got you so used to casting pointers to U8 to do arithmetic, you almost forgot they did that. Yeah. Okay, let me. I'm going to go on Twitter. I'm going to say. I'm going to say, suppose you have a C or C++ like programming language, but that has good built in arrays, but you still want to support pointer math, but you still support pointer math because systems programmers need that. Should Pointer subtraction or is it better just to be simple and just subtract the numbers and give people the bytes back no matter what regardless of type. Okay, so I'm, I'm doing a survey on Twitter and people could answer that in whatever they want, whatever way they want. And we'll see. Should try to find instances of pointer arithmetic in the code. That is a good point. Maybe we'll do that. We could have our metaprogram scan everything. And the result of a pointer subtraction is not normally a usable jerk.
I kind of feel like we just want it to be the numbers. Now the problem is, of course, this in does introduce an additional challenge if anyone is porting C code, you know, because they might just put that in and be sad when it's totally different. Um, however, I mean, you shouldn't make something worse just for that reason, I don't think. Can you add an integer and a pointer without a cast? Yes. This seems risky to change. No, we'll change it. Aren't you going to get some size promotion issues? What do you mean size promotion issues? Do you allow taking the difference of pointers to two different types? Uh, not currently, no. Like, if you do that, even if it would always be the same answer, we probably would type check that because it's probably a mistake, honestly. Um, maybe not. You really like pointers to increment in type size quantities. Why? For what reason? Because I have a feeling most of those reasons are things people don't do in this language because we have arrays. That's the thing is we have arrays. So like, most of the time you're using arrays. If you're using pointers in this language, it's usually because you're about to mem copy, right? or memset or something. And for those, for memcopy, memset, et cetera, you always want bytes. So why even support pointer arithmetic? Because people need it. What do you mean why support pointer arithmetic? What, you can't write an operating system without pointer arithmetic. You can't write a game, not a very good game, without pointer arithmetic. I mean, maybe unless you cast it to integers. Like, is that what you mean? Maybe we should just cast, have people cast to like U64 and do the subtract. Because then that's completely unambiguous. making the result of pointer arithmetic its own type. No, because adding more types to your type system is never a good idea unless you get a tremendous amount of mileage out of that because a new type in the type system complicates every other thing in the language. It's very bad to have new types. So like one of C++'s biggest mistakes is when they introduced references because now just everything is screwed, right? Um, The problem with an explicit cast is what happens if you move to a machine with pointers bigger than 64 bits, which currently doesn't really exist, but it'll exist. Not sure what to do about that. Smaller than 64, we don't care, because you could upcast to 64, it's fine. I'm not hearing good reasons behind the suggestions that are happening in chat. I'm just hearing people suggest things. But like, I can come up with random ideas of what to do also. It's just they need to be backed by something really solid. I love this new feature where Twitter doesn't show me replies unless I click mentions 27 times, not.
ask the public about how to do things. Let's actually, let's be reality based about this. We're just going to put an extra hack in here. Um, well, we're going to call this report pointer math. This is a thing that our meta program calls already, right? Report. Well, let's do this. Report pointer math for a declaration. Okay. Binary operator. I think it's called binary. I just renamed them. Uh, binary is cast code binary operator of it. Uh, if binary dot left dot type and binary dot left dot type dot pointer two oh oh type dot kind is equal to uh hold on that's called dot type So if it's a pointer type, oh, well, we should check that it's not a, a dereference or like a subscript. Those are the names. Let's just see. Semicolon. Oh, I'm trying to do see things here. I'm trying to do see things. Okay. Well, this is all the pointer math. There is a lot. Oh, you know, when we polymorph things, mm. let me let me report the file in line in a different way, in the opposite order. Um, so the problem is when we polymorph things, we'll get them in this report twice. Uh, so we're seeing a lot of array because, well, let's go look at that, right? We get this once per polymorph. And so, you know, um, 
Well, here's a place where we actually do want it to be the size, although we could easily multiply by size, right? I, well, I don't know if we do want. It's a place where it's shorter to not multiply by the size. To be fair to the public, they don't always have the context to know how good. Well, maybe that's one reason. Uh, dereference is a binary operator. A lot of people expect pointer subtraction to return the number of elements. Yeah, I, I said that before. And I said I don't care about surprising them. I said, well, I didn't say, but I thought that our error reporting should be good enough to catch that. Uh, but maybe that's also a good reason just to reject pointer math um, unless you cast it. Not sure, not sure. Anyway. So let's, um, here's what we do. We're just gonna put these into a hash table. Um, it's ridiculous. Uh, uh, pointer math table is a table from um, to bool. We don't really care. This is sort of a key value pair, right? Um, and then we're just going to say for pointer math table and print out the key, right? And uh, that's called hash table. I keep getting confused because it's called hash table, but the struct is called table. That's bad. It's just confusing. All right. So, um, Okay, so we want this, we want this table set, right? So here we're just gonna say, um, we're gonna make some string that's uh, t print this. And it's just the file name and line number, right? And then we're just gonna say table set pointer math table uh, to true. It doesn't matter what the value is. And then at the end, we don't have a finish.
do error checking. Okay, when we come out of this, if we're doing error checking, we call uh, finish error checking. I spelled Pionter math table incorrectly. Siege call is missing. Oh. All right. Uh, okay, let's also sort this. Um, we're just going to put it in an array. We're going um, to pull in a sort. We're just going to delete all this code in a minute, right? But uh, I don't even know why I'm bothering to sort in an array. Well, whatever. Why am I bothering to use a hash table? There's not, there's not enough things, right? So we're using this sort and uh, I don't know, we can quick sort array uh, by compare strings, sure. And then uh, for array print, Oh. Like that. There we go. So finally, after doing a fair bit of stuff, we have all of the pointer math in the program. That's pretty cool. I mean, it's kind of a lot of places to check. The fact that you can add this meta type checking this fast is not something you're expecting. Well, you can. Stan. What if the addresses are not aligned? You don't want a fractional difference. Well, I mean, that also happens in C. is really a lot of cases. I almost I almost want to read it write a thing that reads through the file and outputs the file. But we probably need more context for a lot of these, so we'll just go look. Okay, this hmm. So we have a way of turning off array bounds checks, but we cannot do it on individual subscripts. So this is complaining about that.
Although, honestly, I don't understand why that's a problem, because we only use this variable here where it needs to be defined anyway. So Kind of feel like we're not handling. I mean, Like, why don't I just do that? Seems fine. Make sure the game still works. Make sure characters still animate. Right, whatever. Um, asset, this is going to be stuff probably Ignacio wrote. kind of didn't like how complicated the asset stuff was in the witness. So I'm kind of looking at this going, eh, not sure how I feel about this, but uh, maybe it's fine. So these are just adding to uh, pointer to U8s. So these are, these would be unchanged by any pointer math change. Oh no! When we sorted these, they're actually, they're sorted lexicographically, not by line number, right? So these are later. We could, we could write a more sophisticated sort, but we don't, we don't care. All right. This is again, these are all, yeah, these all wouldn't change in either policy. This again, same, anything with a string, not going to change. Um, whoops, wrong file. Yeah, anything with a string, not going to change. Decals. Yep, not going to change. Not going to change. Not going to change. Oh, this is all going to be metadata stuff. This metadata slot just returns a pointer to a byte. So, oh, sorry, sixteen twenty-four. Yep, these are all byte pointers. First hash, that is pointer to void, which again is byte pointer math. Um, I'm really hungry today. Okay. All right, that is just getting us an arbitrary pointer for uh, just having arbitrary pointer for hash table kind of purposes. Um, okay, again, 
byte pointer, byte pointer, where we're explicitly multiplying the size. There's probably a lot of those. Uh, byte pointer. You know, I could categorize. Here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. Watch this. See all this tedious stuff that we're going to do, that we're doing? Let's just check. Uh, Let's make a prefix. Um, two is a uh, pointer. Uh, tip is cast to type info pointer of binary dot left dot type, right? And then two is tip dot pointer two. If two dot run time size is one is less than or equal to one, zero would be pointer to void, which adds as one in pointer math anyway, which is another reason like exception. It's a weird exception. Um, prefix equals byte. All right. Bam. So we have all the bytes sorted and then the non bytes. How awesome is that? There, every single thing that we haven't checked is actually just a byte pointer. Um, I think, oh no, actually we haven't checked these, but these are the only non-byte pointers in the entire program. A vast minority. How do you guys like that? How is that for thinking about what we're doing? You did recommend it above, oh, I missed it. In fact, you know what? Instead of just this, uh, let's just make it be the size because it's sorted by this. So let's just go prefix is t print percent. This is wasteful to do two t prints in a row, but whatever. Uh, uh, two dot runtime size. So this is like the size of whatever type this is a pointer to. Um, why didn't, oh geez. <laughs> right, it's, uh... wait, this is giving me more things. Did I make a mistake? Did I make a mistake? Okay, hold on. Oh, okay. No, here's the problem with doing this. As we've defeated our deduplication, right? Because when it was byte or non-byte, it would still get deduplicated in the hash table as the same string. Or maybe you had an array one that was byte and one that was non-byte. But now that we have different numbers, so this is like array subscripting for structs of different sizes. So we've massively duplicated this. So so putting the number is a bad idea because it it defeats our filtering. So we're gonna go back to whoops. We're gonna go back to byte or non-byte. Yeah. So yeah, there's very few. So we can just look at the non-byte cases. If size is two, it is not byte. Of course it's not a byte if the size is two. I said less than or equal to one. What are you talking about? Where does size is two come into it? Yeah, the size thing would have the same problem because again, if you look up here, these are all array line 71, right? And they're just different sizes. Like really, 
array line 71 is probably the most polymorph thing in the whole program because it's just array subscript. Okay. Um, so anyway, that was some pretty boss metaprogramming. In most languages, especially most statically typed languages, you would need to make a compiler extension to find that information that we just easily found. So that was great. Um, and this is the kind of thing that, you, that we do all the time, right? 